I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today about D-term set point weight and set point transition. Two settings in Betaflight that I think mystify a lot of people. I'm going to do my best to straighten them out for you now. Now, as you can see, it's getting late in the day. I really wanted to get this video. Ooh, oh, that's not a bat. That's a sparrow. Well, anyway, I, I really wanted to get this video made today, but it got a little late in the day. So the video is going to be a little blurry and maybe a little dark. But that's okay because set point transition is not really something you can ease, or set point weight and transition, is not something you can easily see. You really have to feel it. It very much changes how the stick feels. And it's not always something, so you've got to try this for yourself. But I'm going to do my best to explain it to you. What set point weight does is it controls how sharply the copter responds when you are deflecting or returning the stick to center. So when the stick is moving. Now, very careful, I said when the stick is moving. So if I move the stick like this, a high set point weight will cause the copter to respond very sharply. But when I then just freeze the stick here, the set point weight and set point transition aren't doing anything. They only pertain to when the stick is moving. Okay, a high set point weight, as I said, will cause the copter to be accelerated into the moves more aggressively. And a low set point weight will cause the copter to actually be decelerated. It'll kind of feel a little mushier, but it, mushier might sound like a bad thing, but it actually is smoother as well. So a set point weight of zero or low set point weight may be better for freestyle pilots who want a much smoother looking flight. Whereas a high set point weight may be better uh, if you want just every single little stick movement to be translated to feel really sharp and connected, like stereotypically more for a racer, okay? Set point transition, what it does is it decreases the set point weight when the stick is returning to center. So if I have a low set point transition, what's going to happen? Let's say I have a high set point weight and a low set point transition. When I deflect the stick, the high set point weight will make the copter move very sharply. But then the problem is a high set point weight, when I return to center, it can cause the copter to oscillate right almost as if I flip the stick um, and, and not have a smooth stop and that can be something people don't want so set point transition will reduce the set point weight when the stick is returning to center so you can have a, a nice smooth stop and it's kind of like you get a sharp response when you deflect the stick but a smooth response when you return the stick to center let's take a look at how some of that plays out in the air we're gonna start with a set point weight of zero and a set point transition of one. I think the best way to explore a set point is to just jiggle the stick like that and look at flips and rolls. There's a very soft stop at the end there. And there's actually a little bit of a balance, interesting. See, I tuned this with set point differently and we're getting a little bit of a bounce. Just a soft bounce there, almost a soft rebound. See it? So now let's compare and see if we can see a difference if we increase set point weight. And to really accentuate this, I'm going to turn the set point weight all the way up. So now we're going to take the set point weight up to the max of 2.55. And let's see what kind of a difference we see. You guys can't really tell this, I think, but the copter has a very direct feel. Just the minute I move the stick, it goes where it's being told. And I've started getting voltage alarms after flips and rolls because it's stopping so abruptly.
Now, I don't know if you guys could really see the difference. I could certainly feel the difference. But we're not getting a lot of balance at the end of flips and rolls, so set point and transition may not help us much. But set point and transition, let's turn it up and let's, uh, let's see what difference it, it seems to make. So now, let's leave our set point weight at the max and let's take our set point transition all the way down to zero. And so what we'll have here is we will have the full high set point weight when we deflect the stick and then basically a zero set point weight when we return the stick to center. I'm honestly not sure how much good showing you that video did uh, because, and not just because it's getting dark, it was probably pretty blurry, but because, as I said, set point weight and set point transition are things that you feel more than that you can see most of the time. So you gotta try it out yourself. And what I would suggest that you do is you set your set point transition to 1.0, which means it's disabled, it's not doing anything. You'll have the same behavior on stick deflection and stick return. And then you play with your set point weight and just set set point weight all the way to zero and do some really precise zippy zippy s turns and you know stuff where you're really going back and forth very quickly and feel how it feels and then set it all the way to max which is 2.55 and again do those same things and you'll really you should feel a real difference in how the copter responds to the stick movements so at that point, you can kind of feel for where you want it. And you might say, oh, well, obviously I like the most sharpest direct feel possible, but maybe if you're a freestyle pilot, you like a smoother feel because with that high set point weight, every single little stick movement you make is gonna be translated and visible very abruptly. So uh, then the set point transition, if you find that you're getting, you want smoother stops at the end of flips and rolls. That's really what I think where it comes in you're gonna start reducing that set point transition from 1.0 down. And the lower that is, essentially the lower your set point weight will be on stick return. So when you deflect the stick, your set point weight will be whatever you've set it to. But then as you decrease set point transition, your, your set point weight will essentially be lowered when you're returning the stick to center for smoother stops to flips and rolls. Okay, that is set point weight and set point transition. Now you know. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.